The Ministry of Education to review the policy that prohibits schools from being involved in the distribution and sale of school uniforms. They argue that the current practice of obtaining uniforms from sources outside of school is cumbersome and results in the purchase of uniforms with varying colours and differences in sewing fabric quality. Additionally, they have expressed concern about the increased cost of living, calling on the government to intervene, as Andrin Kilemi now tells us. Early Monday morning, diverse scenes unfolded in secondary schools nationwide as the 1.4 million KCP candidates from the previous year, representing the final group under the 844 system, began their enrollment in their respective secondary schools. We are happy that uh, out of the number we expect of 450, by now, around 12 noon, we already have 290 that are on the queue to be admitted. So we are expecting by the end of the day, we shall be able to make 450 students that will make the eight classes. Most secondary schools successfully enrolled a significant number of students on day one of admission. A spot check in Karoti Girls High School Moya and Chewoyet National School in West Pokot indicated a total of over 250 admitted students by midday out of the expected 450 students. Tulikuwa tunangojia hii siku kwa hamu maana tulikuwa tunatarajia kwamba form 1 wataigia ili waendele na masomo. A section of parents has called upon the Ministry of Education to review the policy that prohibits schools from any involvement in school uniforms. The parents argue that the process of sourcing school uniforms outside the school is tedious and has led to some parents buying different shades of the same uniform colors. Lakini ile kitu inapendeza sana ni kununua uniform hapa. Juu uniform ya hapa naona ikiwa smart, yota inafanana, wasichana walembo. At the same time, Education Cabinet Secretary Ezekiel Machogu has sent a stern warning to parents who are staging attacks in schools over poor performance in national examinations. In a statement released Monday, the Education Boss said going forward, the Ministry of Education will treat any invasion in schools as acts of crime that prompt firm and decisive action from law enforcers. This year's Form 1 placement saw a total of 42,927,000 students students placed in national schools, 2,225 students in special needs education, 274,746 in extra county, 288,201 in county schools, and 792,230 students in sub-county schools. Andrin Kilemi, TV.